In North St. Louis, a new approach to stopping violence. About the last group that you would expect to see cleaning up a neighborhood would be gang members, but that's exactly who some of these neighborhood volunteers are. This was Ray Preston was there as they started trying to turn around a neighborhood. Here in North St. Louis in the 21st Ward, they begin cutting and clearing the weeds, picking up the trash, and cleaning up the neighborhood. Okay. Andre Moore spent part of his Saturday cleaning up an alleyway in North St. Louis. He used to be a gang member. I got stabbed up pretty bad when I was 18. That uh, made me start looking at life a little bit different. He now works in construction and is here today for a reason. And so this is a way to get back by coming out and try to help rebuild some of the stuff that we tore down. A neighborhood shopkeeper came up with the idea. A few weeks ago, there was a weekend of violence in this neighborhood. Five homicides and shootings. The next day, a prayer vigil to put an end to the violence. But he wanted to do more. He hooked up gang members with lawmakers. They don't trust the media. They don't trust the police department. And we're trying to get them to trust the elected officials. So we talked about uh, what can we do for them and what can they do for us. One thing they wanted? fix up the basketball court set nearby O'Fallon Park. Because there was a discussion about not having anything to do uh, in North St. Louis. Some of the gang members may be hired to renovate the boathouse at the park as well. It's about channeling all that energy that they have into a positive way, you know, trying to do something positive for the community. They're looking for someone that believes in them. That we care about our community, and, and that's why you see all these people out here, because they want something better for their community and what they're saying. Lawmakers told us they plan on doing this week after week, cleaning up block after block, working their way toward a neighboring community, home of another gang. And they plan on meeting with those gang members in the coming week. In North St. Louis, Ray Preston, News 4.